we can take up about 350 pounds of passenger weight. We only burn about five seconds out of every 30. Okay. Um, otherwise, we would be up in the atmosphere somewhere. <laughs> Way up.
great because a lot of balloons that are out there flying, people will say, hey, I saw the Remax balloon and it wasn't the Remax balloon, but it's such an icon that everybody recognizes. So they see a balloon and they instantly think of us. Basically, as a pilot, we are micrometeorologists with balloons because we are so dependent on weather. It has to be exactly the right circumstances or we can't go up. We let little test balloons go and I let one go and it went up about 150 feet, which is going to be at the top. If we're going up, it's going to be at the very top of the balloon, which will maybe we may have to do a little lower tether. Okay. But, but yeah, it, right here it's perfectly calm. You see the top of the tree moving? Yes. That's where the top of the balloon is. Got it. So that's the kind of thing that we look for. And like I said, we'll have to... That makes sense. We'll adjust. <laughs> <laughs> when I bought my franchise in 2019, um, I went to my first broker owner conference in North Carolina and um, they had the balloon there and I, I was my first experience in a hot air balloon and even being that close to one and it was just amazing. So I couldn't wait to the day came that I brought it here and it took me about three years. 